Welcome back to painting and decorating. Now, all the wallpaper has been stripped off. So we're ready for the next stage of the preparation before I apply the next wallpaper. So luckily I am actually applying wallpaper instead of just emulsioning. Because if it was just emulsioning these walls, there'd be a lot more preparation. I'd probably actually put lining paper on them Possibly, um, but it all depends on how rough your edges are. You'd probably get away with sanding this down and emulsioning this, but it's still a lot of work because you've got to remove the wallpaper paste and then you've got to do all the sanding. So a lot of work. Um, I'll give you a quick look round of the certain areas that I need to fill and some of the things that I need to do. Um, again, there's still a lot of sanding needs to do, starting from the top down. Starting around the ceiling area, this row's not too bad. Needs a little bit more of a scrape off, a light sand down, coat of diluted PVA, and then some filler, just to smooth it out before it gets its artex. Um, Moving on to the, well the ceiling itself has all been dusted off. Um, moving on to where that leak was, I've scraped it all back, all the loose. Um, I'm going to put some foam in the cove in there to help secure that. Do some filling on that before the Artex. Um, the coving. That all needs sanding down and the, the walls all need sanding down before you start doing any filling of all the holes. Um, skirtings need sanding, door casing, just bits up this side, a little bit of foam and then polyfiller over the top. Any parts around the skirting board which are slightly loose and I've got cracks, a little bit of foam, polyfiller. Coming back into this room, any cracks in the coving are going to get fixed. I say a little bit, a little bit of a hole, a bit of foam sorted, won't we'll come back. That ceiling rose was a bit more difficult to come off, so Needs a bit more filler in there. I'm going to use some undercoat plaster, then a bit of polyfiller to smooth it off, and then Artex inside that. Now, um, radiators are going to come off, so that will make the job a lot easier. Round the window, that all needs doing. I'm going to uh, put some foam in there first and a bit of filler. Make sure it's um, draft proof. Then boxes I've removed off for the time being. So I can put the wallpaper straight across. And if they ever get changed, you've not got any patches of wallpaper missing. That socket is getting changed at some point, which is a bit of a pain because I'm gonna to have to leave this wall till that's done. Um, yeah, and like I was on about the fireplace, now decided it's gonna go one of these colors in the marble. So that should look good once that's done. Right, first off, dust mask, sandpaper, scraper, and go round and give it a sand down and a scrape on everything. And then you can start with the diluted PVA and you can put some on the ceiling rows parts uh, and then start the filling on those first. Um, and then just progress. It's uh, not easy, but you get there in the end. You think you're getting nowhere and then suddenly Snowballs. Right. Dust 
mask on. Make sure you dust the ceiling off. Does that good go over? Get rid of all the cobwebs. slightly smoother. That's for the coving. So just go around the coving and give it a quick scan. What you're doing there is one you're giving it a key because it's a flat surface. And two, you're denibbing it, getting rid of all the old little bits of paint or where anybody's uh, gone onto it with a roller, things like that. You can sand it all back. And it just makes your job a lot neater. Then going onto some rougher sandpaper underneath the edge of the clothing and the wall. I usually have my gloves on but I've forgotten them so I always wear gloves. section you can drop down and do the section below then move on do the top drop down do the bottom and progress around the room doing that sanding everything down to the skirting board when it comes down to the skirting board that top edge again you want to make sure you can get it nice and smooth as you can because when you do any polyfilling on that, just get it in really neat and then when it's half dry you can wipe it back with a damp cloth and there's no sanding needed after that. So you can sand your woodwork really good. It's all about progressing the job and not dropping back and having to do things twice. So, you know, you save yourself a lot of time if you get it right in the first place. And when I do the emulsion, a damp cloth, I can wipe off any speckles that are on the skirting board. So that should always now be ready just to paint. That's ready for some polyfiller there now. There's some areas that you may have to put some foam in first. People ask when do a PVA and when do we not PVA. Now sometimes a surface is just too dusty like this backing plaster here. Um, so I'm going to actually put some diluted PVA on all over this. And then other occasions, if it's not that dusty and you just fill in a hole, on a flat wall, then you're okay just to go over with the polyfiller. Polyfiller sticks to stuff really well. Um, but again with this, I'm just going to give it a coat of diluted PVA because this is really rough and dusty. There's no need to wait for that to dry. What I'm going to do is put some foam in these big holes. That'll 
will do. So that's just filled the big void, so I've actually got a surface to put my filler against. Now I'm going to go around now in the room and fill any uh, cracks or coving that's coming loose with the foam. It's dry that foam now, so I'm going to cut it back. Wet this in and a bit of undercoat plaster is going to go on there. The water just helps the undercoat plaster stick there. Because I've already put some down to PVA on, so it's tightened it up. And then the undercoat part. I'm not filling it right to the surface because I'm going to top it up with polyfiller. Leave that to dry, wipe it back a bit, clean it off, and then um, that can have a coat. Sorry, that can have some polyfiller over that. Then. Some of these holes on the walls, some are small enough, you can, and you've got your polyfiller, you just do it with them. But if you've got your undercoat plaster out, and there's some of these big holes, then you may as well just go around and top them up. Got fill them in with this first and then top them up with the polyfiller. And up the side of this door casing where I put the foam in, that's ready to come back. No. 
knock it back a little bit so it's not on the surface. And that's ready for some polyfiller that now. And then with some polyfiller on your finger, because this edge is um, it's quite rough in a way, and using your filling knife to fill it, you won't get it as neat. Uh, it's kind of like a double fill with your finger. Go down it once, making sure you keep all the edges nice and clean. And then fill it again. And you can judge the depth of how you want it. Uh, just make sure you've got no fat edges of polyfill on that. That's good, guys. It's all about making your polyfiller, or any filler you do, as neat as you can. Um, because at this stage of the job, the last thing you want to be doing is making work for yourself, so the less sounding you have to do is a bonus. If you don't have to fill something twice, that's a bonus. When it comes to this line under the cove in there, it's quite rough. You could get away with just papering it if he was going all white, but I'm actually cutting the colour in eventually. So to make sure that edge is as neat as I can get it, I'm actually polyfilling it underneath. You can just see there. So what I'm doing is using my finger some polyfiller on there and just wipe it along that underneath edge getting it as smooth as you can again like I say don't leave any lumps of filler just rub it across them little bits where the paint's coming off just rub it across them just smooth that edge off and when you come to Give that a light sound, that'll be perfect. When it comes to the skirting board, you can see that edge there, how rough it is. Now, that's actually been cleaned back and I've sanded it down. So really, all it needs is the polyfiller. And you can see as I go along there, where the polyfiller starts. So again, with your finger, a little bit of polyfiller on your finger, and then just on the top of the skirt in there, and run it along. Just make sure you smooth all the edges off again. There you go. Now that does two things. It actually fills the crack at the back, but it also levels up all these edges of the paint, so they're nice and smooth. Show you a bit more. Don't leave any thick edges. Go. Across the top of this fireplace, I've already put some foam in the back and I've cut that back so it's ready for some polyfiller over there. So I'm not going to use my finger on this, it's quite wide. Um, I want it more uh, straight than concave. So I'm actually using my blade to fill this one. Just 
Now, it may need two films, but I'll only decide once this is dried and I've sanded it down. If I can tell that it's got a deviation in it, I'll fill it again. But it might be okay. Make sure you push it right in before you draw it back. It's not too bad that. You need to leave a bit to sand back. So that's the bit where I put the undercoat plaster in before. So I'm going to top that up. Some of the other bits you put filler in and it's dried off. You always need topping up because they do soak in a little bit and leave it slightly concave sometimes. So always make sure you top up your filler on the big holes. This is ready now to top up. I've actually already cleaned it off so. Just needs a little bit of polyfiller going over this now. Uh, and then the Artex. Turn it turn off. And there's a little bit of filling around the window to do as well. I've already put some foam in. Cut that back. So again, this just needs topping up with some polyfilm. You don't want to be getting loads onto the plastic. And be careful not to scratch it. But once that's dry and you've done a light sand, you put some diluted PVA on. The rest of it just wipes off the plastic, leaves a very neat finish. That's the uh, end of the filler. Let's have a look. Just needs the Artex going on that bit. All around the ceiling is done, all the holes on the walls, all around the fireplace. Patience, that's where it takes. Let's have a look at this bit. Again, that's ready for our tax. And so is that bit. Now the big crack in the comb in there and I put the foam in, polyfiller, that's okay now. I've done all the filler around the frame. So I'll let that dry off now. And then the next stage is a light sand, because that's all it'll need. And then a coat of diluted PVA, and then let that dry, and then I'm ready to start the papering.